What we'll do now is actually power up our uh, Horner XL4 all-in-one controller. It has the PLC, the HMI, all-in-one. It's actually powered up by 24 volt DC and every uh, the unit comes already pre-programmed with some features so it'll go through and actually show you some features of this unit. So here you see we're booting it up and our OCS, Operator Control Station uh, symbol appears. It does a self-test mode and it actually shows you the model number as well when you saw that self-test mode. And here we are into the demonstration uh, software. So here we have our, our logic, graphics, network and I.O. all built into this one compact unit. And this comes, like I said, the software comes already preloaded. It's a program that you can actually download. Uh, so we'll begin and the first thing we can do is we can look at the performance and the price range of this unit is quite uh, reasonable and you'll see that the one we're actually dealing with right now is the XL4 so it's full color and our screen size resolution speed so because it's a built-in all-in-one what you'll find is that we really have a really fast display here. So we'll start the demonstration and you can see how quickly um, we go through this and it can get faster and faster. So you'll see that the resolution and, and the speed at which we see uh, this happening is quite quick. So that's enough for that. Then we have uh, system registers. So you see our registers here being updated. And you see that happens relatively quick as the as the uh, item inside um, or the register inside changes you'll see the corresponding display on the unit change quite rapidly then we have programming the programming is actually done in a program called seascape and it will actually uh, program this as well as do all your screens so here, uh, simple start, stop, start, you can see here it's running, stop. We have different languages that we can select here, English, French. Um, so we can do data logging, recipes, messaging, download protocols. We also do email on this unit. It's for our I.O. We have onboard I.O. and in this particular case I actually have uh, uh, 12 uh, input. I have the second one here 102 which is the 12 DC input, 6 relay output. We have 4 high speed counters, we have 4 analog in and uh, there's no uh, pulse width modulated uh, signals at all. Then we can use uh, uh, CAN I.O. in order to attach smart uh, I.O. to it and expand our network and use that same network all your I.O. blocks and your railing. Okay. We can also use smart Ethernet I.O. and we can connect additional I.O. to this system. Yep. So your C, uh, C scan there's all your I.O. there and the Ethernet. So graphics we have standard objects we have lamps, we have switches, we have numeric, we have passwords, we can use ASCII data, um, text, we can have pressure gauges here, slider switches, and you can see the uh, corresponding uh, uh, meter here. All different kinds of font sizes, we can transparent the background, we can actually do custom fonts if we want. So again, this packs a lot of features into a very small package. Trending is another good thing and because of the speed you'll notice that this is quite quick, quick at all. And uh, 
I haven't seen anything as quick as this unit can do. Okay, the air alarms. So we have bitmaps and automation. So again, we can do we can do some bitmaps here, and we can actually have pictures. Quite nice. We do the animation, and as you can see, we'll turn this on. We'll increase the speed. Turn it off. So, next. Again, we can take these bitmaps, we can put them together and make our own animation. There's hot, cold. So, quite powerful little unit. Escape out of there. Our uh, symbols. We have symbol libraries that we can actually download and we can purchase from uh, Horner. Or they come, there's a few simple ones that we can actually use, utilize within the package itself. And then we have a couple of sample screens that we can look at. So fill on. Purge. We can fill some more, we just hold it. And once it gets up a certain level, we can then activate the alarms. So the alarms, once it goes up, you can see the high alarm comes up in here, as well as we have the high tank flashing over here. Okay, that's it for uh, today. And if you this video has been helpful, give it please give us a thumbs up, and it will help other people find this information just as you have done. And also, if you want, you can subscribe to our channel here and keep up with all the latest videos that we come out. Also, their website is accautomation.ca. If you go over there and log on to and uh, register on our site, you'll receive two free ebooks. E the first one is Understanding PLC Numbering Systems, and the second is Robust Data Logging for Free. And when you subscribe, every uh, time we update our information, you'll be the first to know with a quick email. Your information is not shared with anyone else. All right, thanks for watching.